What's happening guys? What's going on? Welcome to another product section of Rives Raj. Today I'm going to have an overview of the Stealth Evo version 3 which is by Rhinox. I'm really excited to overview this jacket and uh, later on in the next video I'll do the urban jacket also. Uh, let's not waste time and let's proceed to check what this jacket is all about. First of all a big shout out to Rhinox Gear for providing me both the jackets. The cover is simple in which it comes. It's decent to use during your travel especially if your gear is dirty. So I recommend to keep it handy if you travel with your gear all the time. So talking about the shoulder and elbow area of the jacket, it's armored by Knox Microlock, which is CE Level 2 certification. Also for the back protection, this time they have provided CE Level 2, which is really nice. However, talking about the chest, it's CE Level 1, which is also certified. Fit of the jacket is really nice. The Stealth Evo version 3 is actually a dual sport four season touring jacket. Yes, and if you're talking about the heavy duty textile, it is made of 600D PU coated polyester, which is reinforced and it's Invista Cordura panels, which really make a good impact of the jacket. So I always say that the four season jacket is more of a formal ride jacket and a urban jacket is more of a city ride, which is very casual. That's the basic way I compare these jackets. But obviously it has its own features and that's why the four season jackets are always expensive compared to the urban jackets. So this jacket is a three layer construction, the rail liner, the outer shell and the winter liner. There are plenty of high waist colored air vents constructed in the outer shell of this jacket, starting from both the sleeves and upper chest vents. If you open these, they are very easy to use. Below that, there are respective chest vents, which can be buttoned up to keep the area more open for ventilation. There are two more vents below the armpit area for a good air circulation, especially while riding if you visit a warmer climatical condition. Well, the fit modulation has girth adjusters on the waist, arms and cuffs, which is very convenient and comfortable, especially when you're riding your motorcycle. Cargo capacity of this jacket has four pockets plus two fleece lined hand warmer pockets. The Stealth Evo comes with a lower back support removable ventilated lumbar support belt. Uh, it's very useful especially when you're doing long rides and you have a little bit of a lower back pain. I think this belt would be great and I'll demonstrate this later on. So what Rhinox gear comes with now is a cushioned comfort area especially with soft neoprene trims on collar and cuff area preventing any minor bruises near the hands and neck which can occur a lot during extreme conditions. Well, the overlapping layer uh, is decent enough, comes with a velcro and a thick zip inside and as you can see it has a crisscross way of uh, you know setting it up. So this is very convenient for riders especially who are uh, going with great speed. Let's open this jacket and see how the lining actually looks now. So the liners also have these two slots so you can bypass the belt especially for your waist if you have any back pain. This is so well thought of Rhinox and talking about the winter lining, yes it is separate, it is not attached to your jacket and that's what I like about it. If you want to wear it separately, you can do that. Uh, the lining looks like of a decent quality, however if it's extreme condition, I guess it's better you layer yourself up. So apparently there are three sandwiched layers of the CE level 1 armor specially for your chest. You can even reduce it as per your need and this is really decent Rhinox for providing and yes I would keep this on specially when I am doing extreme riding. So at the outer shell you can find a waterproof pocket. Yes you can put your mobile phone, you can put your wallet or something personal which you don't want to get wet. The material inside is also waterproof, uh, let me remove that, there you go. However if it's heavily raining I would highly recommend a rain wear above it. And that is available at the rear side of this jacket. Yes this jacket has an extra pocket behind. So you can actually put your rainwear in your pocket and it's handy to use. It's very important how you choose the size for your jacket. When you're going in mountains and if you're planning to use your four seasons, especially for cold region and you're going to layer yourself up, make sure you buy a size bigger. 
Yes, it might feel loose when you remove the liners, but it's very important when you layer yourself up. I have got a medium size for myself. Usually I wear a small. However, this medium size is also quite a snug fit. So I can expect one or two thermals in it and I think I can manage with that. Well, I'm not going to talk much about the features of this jacket because you can actually read the description, connect to the link, check Rhinox website. I'm sure by now everyone knows what Rhinox gear is all about. The, the proper padding all over the jacket makes you feel really safe and secure. Uh, zipping this jacket is also easy. The reflective tapes are really nice and visible, especially in low light condition or night riding. The fit of this jacket is really nice. You can actually sense the premium quality of this jacket. Uh, as you can see, the back support is nice. I'm gonna actually tighten from the waist because my waist is a little narrow. Yes, uh, and you can tighten that and look at it. It fits perfectly fine. And it does have an extra zip for your pants to be attached right behind. Now, now let's see how it feels while raising my hand up or you know twisting and turning, especially when you go over bumps and everything. And I feel it's really comfortable. I like that the armpit area is very free, which I like always the most. And just below that are the vents, which you can open up. So there are total eight vents on this jacket. So yes, you can use it uh, completely for all season riding. And that's what I like about this jacket. And also there are two external uh, outlet vents behind your jacket, which is also very useful. So now it's time to check out the most important thing. Yes, waterproofing your jacket. I like one thing about Rhinox Stealth Evo is that you can put the rainwear over the jacket. Usually when I used to wear the rainwear inside the jacket, my, my jacket, uh, the outer layer used to get wet and it used to be very difficult to dry it off, especially when you are in cold region. Uh, or even rainy season. Uh, during M2K, I face that a lot. So it's always better to have something uh, over your jacket, uh, which will also prevent you from snow and uh, you know, it'll act as a wind cheater, which I really like. And uh, let's check the fit. Yes, fits very nice. Uh, they've, they've actually planned it very well. Uh, they've considered the size of uh, each jacket very well and uh, made these things. So the inner layer attachment is near the collar area and the cuff areas. Once you release that, you can actually release a jacket away from your winter wear, which I really like and I'll just show you all. Well, now it's time to try the fitness belt. Yes. <laughs> Well, actually, I feel you can use it in the gym because it got these extra pulleys on the left and the right near the waistline, uh, which is really decent as you can tighten it further beyond its elasticity. So I think this is very well planned and uh, it's very good to carry in your backpack. You never know, you might need it for your lower back support, uh, which is decent enough and uh, very well thought Rhinox gears. Well, folks, this was all about the Stealth Evo version 3 and the next one is the urban jacket which i'll talk about i also want certain comments from you guys that if you want me to make a comparative video uh, a urban versus a stealth evo basically a four season jacket versus a mesh jacket please comment down below so i'll do a neck to neck comparison so that you guys can understand which one to buy for what rides which you're planning all right so this was in a nutshell uh, overview about the stealth evo i'm really glad to use it and i hope it does justice but the real review will happen when i start riding with it so as usual friends if you like this video you know what to do press the thumbs up button if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel share these videos for all the people who are looking for such content and as usual friends i always say eat well sleep well be good signing off ride with raj